was good cuz welcome back to the channel and today i'm bringing you guys another madden 21 simulation video and in today's simulation we are simulating the rest of the goats career the rest of tom brady's storied hall of fame career will be shown in today's video we are going to see if he gets that eighth that ninth or that tenth lombardi trophy in today's video if you guys are excited for the video please do me a favor and drop a like subscribe to the channel if you guys are new i'm trying to hit 600 subscribers so if you guys could do that for me i would greatly appreciate and comment down below your predictions do you think tom brady will get some more rings or do you think he's done do you think he ends at seven and how many more years do you think he has left in the league but without further ado i hope you guys enjoy the video let's get it minica watch me on twitch oh i'm streaming i'm on youtube subscribe to the channel red button beaming let's get that sub can take over youtube oh we teaming my content so how oh yeah i'm steaming oh yeah i'm steaming red button beaming Ladies and gentlemen, we are here on Madden 21 and the year 2021-2022, the year after the Tampa Bay Buccaneers knock off the Chiefs in the Super Bowl for Tom Brady's seventh Lombardi Trophy and Super Bowl win. Is he going to get some more in today's video, Tom Brady's end of career simulation? We will be simulating year by year until we get to that time that Tom Brady finally retires. So make your predictions down below. Will Tom Brady win his eighth Lombardi? Will he win more than that will he win nine will he win 10 will he not even get to any more Super Bowls will he not make the playoffs anymore and how many more years do you think Tom Brady has in the tank make your predictions down below but let's take a look at the roster let's go take a look at Tom Brady how is he doing in the year 2021 2022 and it looks like he's an 89 overall at 44 years of age so still a very good quarterback in Madden now it is time to see how we are going to do this year and I see we're going up against the Saints real quick quick or the Buccaneers are so let's see if Drew Brees is still the quarterback or if there's somebody else at the helm here in New York New Orleans and it's Nick Mullins no Taysom Hill no Jameis Winston going up against Nick Mullins and the Saints in the division now let's see if we get this win we'll simulate game by game to start maybe we'll do one or two games here and there simulate manually as we get the win which is nice against the division rival Saints and then we'll probably simulate the midseason we'll check Tom Brady's stats probably twice a year see if he's in the award races for MVP or anything like that um, and we'll check his stats in the middle of the year. We'll check his stats at the end of the year. And then if we get into the playoffs, we will jump into some games and watch Tom Brady go to work. So he's going back to Foxborough. You know we have to simulate this one by one and see if he gets this W. We're not jumping to midseason yet. And he goes to Foxborough in his return and gets the W. That is awesome for Tom Brady. He's showing Bill Belichick. I told you, man, I got Super Bowl and I got a W against you. So that's all that matters to me. So I will simulate the midseason. Now we're starting off 2-0. We're starting off hot. Let's see if we get that division title. Um, let's see how we're doing at midseason. So we're at midseason and the Buccaneers have fallen off a little bit. The Panthers lead the division at 6-1. and one, Falcons at 5-3 and three, and we started off 2-0. and oh. We started off nice. We got two big wins and then we go 2-3 and three in our next five. So not too good for us here um, towards the uh, middle of the season at 4-3. and three. We're probably still in the playoff race, but right now we have to beat the Panthers if we see them again. I'm not sure if we do, but we'll check that out. Uh, we have to beat them and we have to beat the Falcons because we have to win our division games. We want any chance to make the playoffs as a division winner. But Tom Brady's stats throughout half of the season, 2,200 passing. He was third in the NFL and 16 passing touchdowns, which is eight in the NFL. A good touchdown to interception ratio, 16 touchdowns to two interceptions. So a decent uh, decent season for sure. They're just not putting together the wins here. So we're playing a one and six Rams team. who still have Jared Goff. So we're going to simulate this one. Hopefully we don't get an L here. That would not be good to go four and four. We do get the win. We're going up against the Saints again. If we get this W here, we're going to go to the end of the season. And we do six and three. We're back on track. One game behind the Panthers here. I'm going to see if we have a game against the Panthers. I'll simulate till that. Maybe that'll be for the division. So I'll see you guys there. So we're at week 16 now. We are eight and six. So are the Panthers. But now the Falcons lead the division. And it looks like they clinched that bad boy up. They're 10 and four. We're two games behind them. Unless we win these two, they lose two. We don't have any chance to make the playoffs as a division winner and I don't know if they hold the tiebreaker against us but we need this win against the Panthers we lose this game against the Panthers we will not be making the playoffs if we win this we have a good shot of making it as a wild card team and we take an L that is not what you want to see are we in by any chance the Panthers are the seventh seed so that is not good for us we'll take a look at the standings in the NFC do we have any chance to get in 
First year after the Super Bowl win, and they're in a slump here. Okay, so we have Packers number one, Falcons two, Cardinals three, 49ers four, Vikings five, Giants have clinched already, Vikings haven't, and Panthers haven't as well. So if we, I think if we win here and one of them lose, I think we're in because neither of them have clinched. So we have to beat this Eagles team. How are they? They are five and ten. We need this win. Tom Brady, if you want to get in the Super Bowl, you better beat these Eagles. Let's see. Are we in the playoffs? We're not. We did win, but we didn't make it. The Vikings got the W, and so did the Panthers. So year one. Wow. Let's take a look at Tom Brady's stats. Second in the league in passing yards and fourth in the NFL in passing touchdowns. 36 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, and we didn't even make the playoffs. That is crazy. Yo, Falcons fans, you guys are stepping it up. And you take the division over Tom Brady and Colin Panthers. Looks like you're on the rise too. Saints, I'm not too sure what's going on down there. But wow, year one is a wrap. We don't even make the playoffs. Let's see what year two has in store. All right, we're in year number two now. Seeing if we can bounce back after not making the playoffs. Will the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Tom Brady bounce back and make the playoffs and try to recapture that Super Bowl title? Let's take a look how Tom Brady is doing now. 83 overall at age 45, so he dropped seven overalls in one year. That is kind of crazy. Let's go check out the roster. It looks like we picked up Jair Alexander. Hold up. Did I see that correctly? Jair Alexander is now on the Buccaneers. That's pretty dope. Let's go see the entire roster really quick. Oop, we don't need lineup tools. No, thank you. We got Rojo at 85. Mike Evans still at 92. Chris Godwin at 91. OJ Howard looks nice. That line looks pretty solid. Let's take a look at the defense. Still got studs and Devin White. Looks like Levante David is not here anymore, so he left. Winfield has gone up. Jay Alexander, obviously a stud that we just picked up in free agency. Murphy Bunting's gone up. Vita Vea is looking pretty good. And Shaq Barrett at a 90 overall. So this team is still pretty stacked. We need to bounce back here. Let's see if we get this win against the 49ers here. Started off with a win. We did start off 2-0 last year, and we didn't even make the playoffs. So will Tom Brady make it this year? 0-1. No. What are we doing here, Tom? Tom and Co. Do you want to get to the Super Bowl again? You got Tom Brady. All right. We got one and one. Falcons after that that start um, last year with a division title are 0-2 to start. So that's not good for them. Do we get another win? And we lose to them. So they go 1-2. and two, So never mind. I jinxed ourselves. Thought the Falcons were going to be bad. Should have thought. Okay. Can we get the win against the Cardinals now? And we do. Get a matchup with the Falcons again. I'm going to assimilate to midseason. Division's tight right now. Let's see what happens at the, at the midway point. So we're at the midway point in the season, and this division couldn't be any tighter right now. Panthers lead at 4-3 and because I guess they had their bye week. We did beat them, though, in week 8. Falcons are 4-4. Four and four, Saints are 4-4. Four and four, And the Tom Brady and the Buccaneers are 4-4. Four and four. So um, this division's very, very tight. We do see the Panthers again. Looks like we see the Saints again. I think we already played the Falcons twice. I think we went 1-1 one and one with them. So let's see. Oh, we have our bye this week. So let's go to next week. Let's see how that opens up. How'd everybody do? We're all four and four. This is going to be interesting. Okay, we'll simulate this game and we'll, we'll simulate the Panthers game. Actually, you know what? Maybe we'll do all three. Maybe we'll do the Saints too because we took an L. That's not looking good. But Panthers go four and five. Falcons and Saints are five and four. Need this win against the Panthers and you got to beat the Saints too. Let's see. Can we get the win against them? We do. Five and five. Falcons are six and four. Okay. Need this win against the Saints, Tom. Need to get this win against the Saints. Do they get it? They lose. Five and six. Oh boy, we see the Saints again though. I'm going to that Saints game. We're simming to week 16. One second. Would you look at this? This is crazy. This division is so tight right now. This is unbelievable. Eight and six Falcons, eight and six Saints, eight and six Buccaneers. Panthers did fall off. How's the playoff picture look? We're still the seventh seed. So right now, us, the Falcons, and the Saints are getting in, but this is a big win. We lose this. There's a chance we don't get the wild card. As we win this, there's a chance that Tom Brady and the Buccaneers get the division. So big win here. Let's see it. You know what? First game we're jumping into. I'm going to sim it. We're going to jump in and go uh, quarter by quarter. So this isn't a playoff game, but it's very close to it. We're going to simulate until we get in the red zone, and maybe we'll jump in for some Tom Brady drives. But we got to win this. This is basically a win and get in in week 16. And Tampa Bay with the touchdown. I said we jump in. I apologize. Next time they get the ball in Saints territory, kind of towards the red zone, we will jump in. Okay, Saints look like they're probably going to punt here. They do. Oh, wow, that's a good punt, though. Tampa Bay ball. Okay, jumping through. Let's see. Anybody getting close to the red zone? Nope. 
seven nothing lead. Ball in New Orleans thirty. Second and four ball on. We're gonna jump in on one more play. They're on the three. All right, we're jumping in. Let's see Tom Brady go to work at the end of the half. I don't know what happened. Oh, they're gonna kick a field goal. I actually don't. Oh, they scored a touchdown. I jumped in late. Oh man, I apologize. They scored a touchdown on that play. I don't know what happened there. The simulation like glitched when I jumped in. But okay, they scored a touchdown. It's fourteen nothing. I apologize. Listen, if we get into the playoffs, we will jump into another play, uh, another game anyway. But let's see how the rest of this game plays out. Let's go back to fast speed. I want, and we will. We'll go to jump to next play. Let's see. How's the half end? Okay. If we get to the red zone again, I promise we'll jump in. Looks like New Orleans is driving a little bit. Will they get a field goal? No, they don't attempt it. Okay. Tampa Bay driving again. Tom wants to get into the playoffs. Third and eight. Fourth and 12. Not going to try. Oh, they did get a field goal. Okay, 17 nothing. Ball at the New Orleans 13. I don't know what happened there, but this time we're jumping in. I promised you we will jump in, and here we go. Tom Brady, second and 13, empty set from the gun. What is he going to do? 17 nothing lead. This game looks like it's probably over. Big win for Tom Brady and co. if they do it. Can he throw for the touchdown on the camera for us? No. Second, uh, third down. Okay, third and 13, empty set again. Are they going to be happy with a field goal? They probably will be to take a 20 nothing lead, but let's see if Brady can cook something up for the tutty. He's looking back in the end zone. He overthrows it. Looking for Evans. But okay. Looks like they're going to field goal. Let's go back to the regular sim. What happened there? They went for it on fourth down? Did I miss something? I'm clicking X too quick. I didn't even realize what happened there. I thought they, I guess they faked a kick there and they went for the touchdown. Why would they do that? I don't know. It looks like uh, New Orleans might put up a, a score here. Ball in the Tampa three. Fourth and one. They go for it. Kamara gets it in. But it's still 24 to six. Ball to New Orleans 21. We're not jumping in anymore. This game's actually, you know what? We will. We will do one more play. Let's jump in for one more. Icing on the cake. Tom Brady, second and goal from the five. It's 24 6. This game is pretty much over with. But here we go. Who is that in the backfield? I honestly don't know. Is that say number 30? Oh, that's the that's the rookie from this year, Vaughn. But obviously right now he's not a rookie. He's probably his third year in the league. Last play from Brady and Co. And then we're, we're pulling out here. And we're going to simulate to the end of the game. But this one's pretty much over. Let's see if Vaughn's going to get another touch here probably. Can he get in for the score? He can't. They're going to get a field goal. Go 27-6. This game is pretty much over with. Let's simulate to the end here. If it'll let me exit, it does. Let's go. Fast end of game. Let's see. Do they win it? And they do. Tampa Bay wins it. Big week 16 win. Tampa Bay looks like they might go to the playoffs. Big win for Brady and Co. And we are leading the division now at 9-6. and six. We get a win here against a 12-3 and three Browns team. Wow, the Browns are killing it this year. We got this win. We are the, a uh, no, sorry, the AFC, the NFC South champions. And we are 10-6. and six. Buccaneers get the W. Let's see the playoff bracket. Who do we got? We have the Falcons, a division matchup. And then we play the Cowboys in the next round. Oh, actually, no. It would reseed, so we wouldn't play the Cowboys. The Falcons would play the Cowboys. But we'll see. We're going to jump in again. We're just going to simulate fast unless it's a close game. We're not going to watch Tom Brady go to work unless it's probably the NFC Championship game or the Super Bowl unless it's a close game. But we're going to jump in. See you guys there. We got a home playoff game in Tampa. And what is happening? Tom Brady and co. get a touchdown. It is 7-0, 14-0. They are looking to blow the brakes off of the Atlanta Falcons here. It is 14-3. We won't jump in on the field unless the game is close it looks like they're driving again first and goal on the atlanta three and it's 21 to three tampa bay buccaneers what are the falcons doing ball on the on the tampa bay 11 and they do get a touchdown it looks like it was calvin ridley so this game is a close one it's not over yet they're not blowing the brakes off the falcons completely but they are driving at will right now ball on the atlanta 37 looks like they'll take three here Oh, wow, they faked it. Tyler Johnson. Why? Oh, they didn't fake it. Tom Brady just threw it, I guess. Oh, they've been going for a lot on fourth down these simulations for some reason. Seven seconds left. You know what? Screw it. Let's jump in. One play before the end of the half. Let's see it. Tom Brady first and goal. Oh, and they end the half. Well, they didn't even get a field goal. I guess they couldn't spike. All right, whatever. All right, we're fast him in again. 24 to 10 Atlanta. Ball in the Tampa Bay. 13 end of the end of the third quarter it's 24 to 13 tampa bay will the falcons make a comeback this would be a pretty legit comeback and tampa bay with another touchdown and this game is ggs and the tampa bay buccaneers are moving on to the divisional round
Divisional round and Tampa Bay and Tom Brady get an 8-8 eight and eight Rams team. So same deal. We're jumping in fast, Simmons. If it gets close, we'll jump in. Or if they get in the red zone, we want to check out a play here and there. We will, but I'll see you guys in the game. All right, divisional round up against the Rams. Looks like Tampa Bay has the ball first. And they punt it on their first drive. Give it to Jared Goff. Doesn't look like they're driving anywhere. Back to Tampa Bay. The ball goes, and they are now driving Oh, but they get stud up at midfield, actually. They are going to punt it over to the Rams. We'll go a little bit quicker here unless I see somebody maybe get to the red zone. Nothing there. Rams have the ball again. Almost at the end of the first quarter here. Tampa Bay ball. First and 10. Second and one. They're at LA territory. They're working it into field goal range. Third and 10. Fourth and 10. Couldn't get anything going, but it's a 3 nothing game. First and 10 for the Rams on the 14, second and 12, third and two, and it's a touchdown for the Rams. They lead 7-3. Tom Brady needs a bounce back drive, and they're already at the Rams 27, but it's third and five. First and 10 from the Rams 20, third and eight, fourth and two. Are they taking the three? They are at 7-6. Wow, a good defensive uh, possession there by Tampa Bay to get the ball back on the LA 32. Now it's first and 10. They're on the Los Angeles nine. Let's check in with Tom Brady for a play here. See if he can cook up a touchdown. It's second and goal from the 12. Is that Ronald Jones in the backfield? Probably. Let's see what's Tom Brady cooking up. They have the lead here as long as they don't choke it away. He has the lead here. Can he get a touchdown? He's looking in the end zone, and he throws an interception. Brady had the go-ahead field goal in the bag. He was looking for Brady, I think, in the back of the end zone. Bad read by Brady. Okay, back to regular simulation now, and it's fourth and one for the Rams. Tampa Bay does get the ball back, back to the LA 50. Seems like they're working it pretty easily back into LA territory, but they're working against the clock. Are they going to get three here? Looks like they're going to kick the field goal and send it to the half. So they're up 9-7, Tom Brady and co. They come out of the locker room on the Los Angeles 33. Four field goals for Tampa Bay. Can't punch it into the end zone. But luckily, the Rams really can't do anything offensive besides that one touchdown. Tampa Bay is going to get the ball back midway through the third. Back to the Rams it goes. Very defensive game we have here. Not Oh, I'm sorry. Tampa Bay scored a touchdown. I apologize. I completely missed that. I didn't even realize where that came from. So it's 19 to 7. Rams here. I'm sorry. Tampa Bay here. Looks like the Rams are driving. Ball on the Tampa Bay 14. Can Jared Goff do something here? Third and three. And it's a touchdown for the Rams. And now it's 19-14. Tom Brady needs some cushion points. Second and five. At midfield. Do they get the first down? They don't. Well, they punt it. They do. Give it back to the Rams. Rams are driving. No, now it's third and 16. The Tampa Bay defense says no. They stand up there. A good stand by them. Third and one, fourth and one. Are they going to go for it? They are not. Jared Goff has a chance to be the hero and send his team to the NFC Championship. And he gets it into Tampa Bay territory. It's first and 10 from the Tampa 21. They're at the four. Here we go. We're jumping in with Jared Goff. Unbelievable. What could Jared Goff do? Needs a touchdown for the lead. The Rams, they want to take the lead here against Tom Brady and the Bucks. Jared Goff looking. Where is he going? Throws it out of the back of the end zone. Second and goal from the four. Akers in the backfield. What's Jared Goff looking to do? Needs the touchdown. Where is he going? A quick pass. It bounces off the helmet. Gets deflected. Brought the pressure there. Oh, okay. Devin White sent some pressure. And it's third and goal. I'd say this is four down territory for the Rams. Let's see the next play. Okay, it's third and goal now. Akers still in the backfield. Bunch formation on the left. Who is he looking for? Is he going for cop? He's not. He's got, I think that's Gerald Everett in the back of the end zone. Number 80. Who is that? I'm sorry. Is that D.D. Westbrook? I'm sorry. There's new guys around. Yeah, that's D.D. Westbrook. Unbelievable. Oh, my God. I, I, I'm sorry. There's new guys on the Rams nowadays. I assume they're going to go for two, so we'll watch the two-point here. Here, um, Let's see. Is Jared Goff of the Rams going to take a three-point lead over the Bucks? And Tom Brady's going to have to lead a drive. We were definitely going to hop in, and they get it. It's Tyler Higby. It's 22-19. They're looking to send the Buccaneers home. Brady. Oh, I'm sorry. I will jump in. I got to get this kick off. They're not going to do anything with this. Okay. Once Brady 
if he does make it to midfield or close. Oh my God, they're right at the Los Angeles 45. They get this first down. We're jumping in live. It's fourth and 10. You know what? This is the play here. Oh, is it first and 10 for them? I'm clicking X too fast. I apologize. That's a fourth and 10. We're jumping in. Let's see what Tom Brady could do here. They're in field goal range. What are they going to do? It's the end of the game. What is going on? They lost. What is going on with this simulation? They had timeouts. They had a first down. Why did they not call any timeouts? Madden, what just happened? The Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going home. What just happened? We got to view the highlights. Fourth and 10. Fourth and 10, they completed for 11 yards for the first down. Now they had three timeouts and they called none of them. I don't understand that, but Tampa Bay season year two for Tom Brady. It's over. They're going home in the divisional round to the Rams. Unbelievable. That, that is crazy. Okay, we're going to simulate to year three. Let's see if Tom Brady's still playing football or if this man retired. What a heartbreaker for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in year number two. I don't know what happened at the end of that game. All I know is they lost. So now we're in year three after the Super Bowl. Tom Brady's now 46 years of age, 75 years old, and they have not even gone to an NFC Championship game. Missed the playoffs year after the Super Bowl and just lost in the divisional round. We are going to simulate to midseason and see how this man is doing. Okay, we're in year 2023 so now the Buccaneers are four and four and how is Tom Brady doing at a 75 overall ninth in the league in passing yards so still pretty solid and third in the league in passing touchdowns 17 and five for touchdown to interception ratio so not bad and they still have a chance to win the division again I will simulate till the end of the year let's see if the Buccaneers are in the playoffs the Buccaneers in year three for Tom Brady after winning the Super Bowl is now back in the playoffs but this time as a wild card team went nine and seven tied the Falcons but I guess they had the tiebreaker so we are getting revenge this time around on the Rams can Tom Brady and the Buccaneers get their revenge for last year's loss let's see what happens we're gonna jump in but first actually let's check Tom Brady stats for the year seventh in the NFL in passing yards and ninth in the league in passing touchdowns 33 to 13 touchdown interception ratio I apologize guys if I'm not the best with the simulations I'm still learning there's only probably like the second simulation video I've made so I know I'm missing some stuff I'm gonna get it down pat for more simulation videos in the future I promise but if you guys are liking the video so far please do me a favor and drop a like also subscribe to the channel if you guys are new I would greatly appreciate it. and again comment down below do you think Tom Brady is gonna win the Super Bowl this year do you think this is his last year and let me know what other simulations you guys would like to see in the future okay wild card round trying to get their revenge against the Rams here are the Rams a whole new team this year let's see is it gonna be another defensive battle like it was last year looks like they're already in Tampa Bay Terry at the Tampa Bay two first and goal it's a touchdown for the Rams to start it off Tom Brady oh it looks like it's a long touchdown what was the play there let's go see real quick it was a pass to Chris Godwin for a 65 yard touchdown we have a tie ball game here actually no they missed the extra point so it's seven to six Rams and they kick a field goal to make it ten to six but a 75 yard touchdown Tom Brady to Scotty Miller they are not playing around this time against the Rams they are throwing dots Tom Brady is throwing bombs at 46 years old at a 75 overall they're gonna get three there it looks like it's 13 to 10 ball to Los Angeles 48 and another touchdown what was the play it was a 48 yard touchdown to Scotty Miller this man Scotty Miller playing like a stud like a top three receiver in the league right now this man's having this in this game right now against the Rams okay what are the Rams doing nothing ball to Tampa Bay 45 it's fourth and four they're gonna punt we got a 10-point game. We're going to speed it up a little bit. 17 to 20. Rams get a touchdown. Rams looking to drive again. They do wind up punting back to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Okay. Whose ball is it here? It's Rams ball at the 29. Almost at the end of the half. Is the half going to end like this? Yes, it is. 20 to 17. Fourth and three. It's a touchback. Okay. On the punts. We're going to speed it up. Buccaneers get three. Rams get a touchdown to take the lead. Tom Brady, you got to clutch up again. Rams are driving. They're going to get another three. Need another bomb from Tom Brady. Doesn't look like it's happening yet. Rams, are they going to punt it back to Brady? Will he get another opportunity? 
They're on, in Tampa Bay territory. They got to hold them to a field goal. It's fourth and one. They take. No, they get the touchdown. What was the play? It's a Cooper Cup touchdown of fourth and one. Three minutes left. This game might be over with. What can Brady do? He's in LA territory with a minute left. What are they doing here? It's fourth and six. They'll take the three. Give it back to the Rams. And this game is over. Tom Brady and the Buccaneers fall short in the divisional round. 381 yards from Brady. This man played great. The defense did not help him out this time around. The Rams put up 34 points and knocked the Buccaneers out of the playoffs. Ladies and gentlemen, in what would have been year four for Tom Brady after winning the Super Bowl against the Chiefs, I think probably his 47-year-old season, this man is retired. Tom Brady has retired from the NFL. I checked the NFL just to see, and Aaron Rodgers is now the oldest quarterback in the league, which means Tom Brady's career is officially over, does not get any more Super Bowls. Tom Brady ends his career, a beautiful career, obviously one of the best careers of all time, if not the best career of all time in the NFL with seven Lombardi trophies. Doesn't ever make it back to the Super Bowl after getting that seventh Lombardi. Doesn't even make it to an NFC championship. So I don't know what you guys would consider that. Would you consider that a failure in his books if he doesn't make it to another Super Bowl? Or do you say he had he accomplished so much in his history, it doesn't matter what he had done in those next three seasons after winning the Super Bowl. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Tom Brady is officially retired. Oh my God, it's over. Tom Brady is done. We have to be thankful for the time that he has given us on the football field. What a career it has been. Um, but comment down below. Would you guys like to see me do another career simulation? Would you like me to do Aaron Rodgers up next? He is the next oldest quarterback. Do you guys want to see if Aaron Rodgers is going to get that second Super Bowl um, in Green Bay before he retires? Let me know in the comments down below if you guys would like to see that. Okay, everybody, that is going to do it for today's video. The Tom Brady end of career Madden 21 simulation lasted three years, and Tom Brady is officially retired. He is no longer an NFL quarterback, did not get any more Lombardi trophies or any more Super Bowl appearances. It's crazy. But if you guys did like the video, please do me a favor and drop a like on the video. I would greatly appreciate it. And subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I'm trying to hit 600 subscribers. So if you guys can help me out with that, that would be greatly appreciated. Like I said, I know I'm not the best at simulating games so far. I don't know really now how they were working. I'm still learning as I go. Only second simulation video I've made so far, so I'm still trying to figure out the editing style and stuff like that, and how to simulate in games, what to show, what not to show. So I'm still learning as it goes. So if you guys have tips for me in the comments down below, uh, feel free to leave them. I will definitely read them and see how to make these type of videos better. Like I said, if you guys want to see that Aaron Rodgers simulation, please let me know in the comments down below. I think I will go ahead and make that video, but let me know if you guys want to see that. But that's going to do it for me today, guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.